Lexi Goncharenko joining us. Uh, Mr. Goncharenko, thank you for speaking to Times Now. How do you respond to the allegation coming from Russia that there was an attempt to directly hit the Kremlin? This was done in the dead of the night. Perhaps a possible assassination attempt against the Russian President Vladimir Putin. First of all, never believe Russians. They always lie. So is it truth what they are saying now? I don't believe them. I can't confirm you. I can't deny it. I just don't have information about uh, which attack it was and really was there any attack. Maybe this is a false flag operation. Everything is possible when we are speaking about Russians. Uh, in any way, Ukraine has all the right to attack any objects in Russian territory. That's the fact. Because Russia started unjustified war against our country. And according to international law, we can attack any object anywhere on Russian territory. Also, I can tell you as Ukrainian member of the parliament and a Ukrainian citizen, I would be happy to see Putin dead. But uh, I don't know, is, was it a real story? Maybe that was an attempt of coup d'etat in Russia. Maybe, by the way, why it's happening in the night, what Putin was doing in Kremlin in the night. It sounds strange because Kremlin is his office, not a place where he lives in. So I don't know, I don't believe them. But uh, again, uh, it's interesting to see how weak is Russia, that if it's really a kind of attack, so they didn't intervene the drone just before, just only uh, above the main building of Kremlin. It's interesting. They tell, told so many times that they have so strong air defense systems, but it looks like it's not. And Mr. Gocharenko, the Russians have pledged that they will retaliate at a place and time of their choosing. They believe that this is actually a Ukrainian attempt to send a strong message to the Russians that they can reach the heart of the Russian capital. How do you see the Russian response of a warning of a retaliation once again on Ukraine? If it is Ukrainian drone, like Russia says, it means that Ukraine can hit the heart of uh, Moscow. Exactly. Uh, about retaliation. We are not afraid of Russians. They are doing everything they can to kill us, to them, they organize genocide of Ukrainians. They are trying to, to, to wipe us out from the planet. So we are not afraid of them. We will win the war. We already made a lot of successful counterattacks, and the whole world will see that this empire, Russian empire, which started colonial war against Ukraine, they are not really strong. We will win this war. So we are not afraid of any of their retaliations. And Mr. Gocharenko, uh, why are you not in a position to confirm or deny whether or not this was uh, something that was actually attempted on the part of the Ukrainians? Uh, can we expect the Ukrainian government uh, to respond uh, as to whether or not it was trying to send a message? Because what we're also getting to hear from journalists in Russia is that Mr. Putin was not present at the Kremlin at the time that this attack took place. I, because that is a decision of Ukrainian officials to comment it or not. I'm a member of the parliament. Okay. Member of the parliament is not a person from Ministry of Defense. The MIF Ministry of Defense or presidential office will decide to comment. They will comment. And. Uh... You've already, of course, claimed that there has been an escalation in this war. You've been the, at the receiving end of what you describe as a serious invasion of Ukraine. How can the rest of your supporters, the countries that have been standing in solidarity with Ukraine and supplying it with arms and ammunition, do you see any scope for their intervention so far? Because up, so far, at least, they've held back. We are very thankful to all our allies for all support we are receiving. This is vital for us. And we are very thankful for them because this war is not just for Ukrainian independence, not just against Russian empire, but that's also about international order. If uh, one bigger country can attack their smaller neighbor, that would be a disaster in the world if that will continue this way. So it's very important for the whole, whole world that Ukraine would win this war. And I'm sure that we will win this war. Do you think the world would react, if at all this is a Ukrainian attack, on the heart of Moscow? Do you think the world will take very kindly to an, a direct attack on, uh, what the, uh, an, on an institution that the Russians, of course, uh, uh, hold very close to their heart and believe is sacred? I didn't understand your question. My question was, how do you think the I world would react? How do you think the world would react to a direct Ukrainian attempt to attack the heart of Moscow? Ukraine has all rights to attack any object on Russian territory, but 
I don't know what was it. Maybe that is a false flag operation. Maybe that's a fake operation. Maybe that is, was an attempt of coup d'etat inside Russia. I just don't know. So what will be the reaction of the world? I think that will not be any reaction of the world because if it's Russian themselves, that's their problem. If it's Ukraine, Ukraine has all the right to do it. So what reaction could be?